Hi, my name is Louis Porter Jr. and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to talk about how you can get a house for $100 a week. Now I automatically already know there are people out there saying, no, you can't do this. No, this isn't possible. No, this is a big scam. And generally people feel that way because number one, they've never done it. Number two, they don't know how to do it. And number three, they don't even understand how to do it. So there's always naysayers out there telling you what you can't do. I always say the same thing. Go tell the people who have done it. If they've done it, they know how to do it. So those naysayers are talking garbage. So focus on that. So today I'm going to talk about how you can get your first property for as little as $100 a week. What do I mean by that? So a lot of people are thinking when you say $100 a week, it's actually paying that out. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is getting your money together to make your down payment for your first place. So typically, when you're trying to get your first property, you need to put down 3.5% of the value of the house as your payment. This usually happens when you have a traditional FHA loan. These are standard loans they get from Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae, which are the largest mortgage companies in the United States that fund these type of mortgages. And with this, you need to put down 3.5%. So figure it this way, for a house that costs a hundred thousand dollars, three and a half percent of that is three thousand five hundred. And for every hundred thousand, we just add another thirty five hundred. Very, very simple. So in this case, what this pertains to is really getting that initial down payment because you're gonna need that. You need to have a down payment, number one, and you need to have money for closing costs, number two. And you're gonna see how these go hand in hand. When I was trying to get my first house, I had my own regular W-2 job that I was working, but I wasn't saving enough money to save up to get my house. I just couldn't do it. There was just not enough money there. So I decided what was to be the easiest way to go about it? What could I really do? What could I really do? And I had, and I had to make a decision that maybe not have been the best decision, but I knew it was the best long-term decision. So I decided to get a part-time job. Now, now a lot of you are saying, oh, but I don't want to get a part-time job. Look, if you're going to be serious about this and you seriously want real estate, you seriously want to get your own house, this is something you're going to have to sacrifice. But trust me, by the end of this, once you hear everything that's going on, it'll totally make sense. I promise you. Even though I had my W-2 job and I had my side business when I was working at, I knew I had to work a part-time job to get in more money. And it came to me about how much money do I need to make? to make this 100% a valuable situation that will help me get this house. So I figured out I would need to make $100 a week, after taxes of course, that I could put away to save money for my down payment. So what I did was I got a little part-time gig. I worked all day Sunday, which was six hours, three hours on Monday, and three hours on Tuesday. And all that time combined would make me 100 bucks after taxes. Like I said, not a horrible hard job it wasn't very difficult it wasn't crazy it was just that's what it was it was a job for me to make money to do this like i said just find a job where you can do that and i focused on doing that job for two years and i know a lot of you're starting to groan oh two years oh my god okay so for everybody's groaning complaining let me put some perspective on it for you if you're 21 and you work a part-time job to your 23 you can have enough money saved to buy a house. Does that seem like a lot of time? Well, how about if you're 31 and then you get to 33? You still have enough money saved to buy a house. Does that seem like a lot? Well, how about if you're 35 and you work, you know, two good years of part-time work doing it and you end up be 47? Is that really a lot of time? No, it really isn't. See, what you're whining about is, oh, I would rather do nothing and not have this house and complain about it than actually put some hard work in. But if you put the hard work in to do this, you're going to get a great reward. And that great reward is that house. So what you do is you go to work, you make $100 a week, you find an account where you can put that money in, and you put that money, not with your regular money. Don't put it with your regular money because you're going to spend it on something stupid. You make a separate bank account for it, and you put on the bank account money to save for my house. Put the $100 in every week, every week. And you keep putting in there every week. And do this for two years. So for all you people who are like, well, two years every week, how many weeks is that? It's 104 weeks. 104 weeks means at the end of this two years, you then can stop that part-time job if you choose. 
you should have realistically if you did everything you're supposed to do and you kept the money in there you kept putting the money you didn't touch it you should have at least ten thousand four hundred dollars now a lot of you're like well I don't know man that's a lot of money it's a lot of money but it's not a lot of money but I'll show you why it's an important bit of money you put the hard work in you put that you have that ten thousand four hundred dollars just say ten thousand because that is only easy math in my head so now you know you can purchase a house that costs a hundred thousand dollars because you've got the down payment that's three and a half percent what you've got and during this time you're going to be working on your credit score making sure you're not buying anything stupid and making sure you keep your payments low so you have the money ready and available to make that pay down now a lot of you're saying well i got ten thousand dollars i'm only using thirty five hundred so i got seven grand left over no you don't what you also have to do when you find out when you buy a house is that you're gonna to have to pay da, 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 closing costs yeah closing costs are the one thing that drive me crazy in real estate we got to pay them when we buy investment properties so you got to pay that too and you can figure that your closing cost should be about three percent of the sale so now remember how we talked about three and a half percent now we're at six and a half percent and so if you want to use this little formula we just said for a thousand dollar house it should cost you about all in sixty five hundred dollars sixty five hundred dollars okay well you've got ten thousand so that still leaves you three thirty five hundred bucks that you can keep in your pocket that's on a house that costs a hundred thousand you want to buy something bigger well you're going to, have to adjust the numbers accordingly if say if you wanted to buy a two hundred thousand dollar house two hundred thousand dollar house is going to have to be seven thousand dollars in the down payment plus another three percent so it's another six thousand so it's going to it's going to run you thirteen thousand dollars so in this case working two years won't get you that house it just won't it won't but the numbers don't match up but if you work a third year that part-time job and do that you'll have fifteen thousand so then you can get yourself into a two hundred thousand dollar house with really like I said, no bad pressure to you so like i said if you take two years out and sometimes three years out you can save up enough money for your down payment and it is only a hundred dollars a week the problem is everybody wants to do it quick if they want to buy a house so they've got it in their mind so they want to buy it but their credit's not good or they don't have enough money to send you for the down payment or they don't know about the closing costs now let me tell you this is stuff i didn't know also when i was doing this but if you're looking to do it by yourself the price for the down payment and the closing cost is all going to be on you so do yourself a favor save that money up and now i know you're saying but lewis i don't want to have to work three years to get my house i'll just tell you from the perspective of my house when i purchased it and what it did for me this is 100 me this is my story this may not happen for you but this happens to me you know i live in south florida the houses are a little more expensive what i paid for my first house was a little bit over a quarter million dollars roughly 11 12 years later this same house is supposedly worth supposedly because i always believe it's all relative but supposedly worth four hundred and twenty thousand dollars roughly two hundred thousand dollars in equity in value was made for this house so when i sell this house minus what i gotta pay back on the mortgage i should be making a very nice piece of change let's just keep it real when i sell my house i'll be very happy because the house itself is basically an asset not in the true Robert Kiyosaki rich dad way but it is an asset it does make you money over a long period of time and it's something that you can use to help increase your value of yourself and your family owning a house is really one of the most transformative things that you can do as a person for your long term health and wealth of your family so like I said for just a hundred dollars a week you could focus on that and do that and I tell you really work a job like a part-time job that doesn't connect to anything you do because you want to be there and just do the job you don't want to get involved in the politics you want to get involved in the foot you want to be those for those two years for one goal I want to make this money every week this money's going into this account this account's gonna help me buy my house and that's what you wanted to do now some of you are saying well why don't I just work 60 weeks or 70 weeks because things happen but if you focus on doing two years of this you're gonna have that ten thousand dollars saved in the bank for you don't touch it don't do anything to it don't spend it don't waste it on anything stupid that money is your lifeblood do everything you can to protect that money do not spend that money if you do that little thing I'm gonna get you that much closer to you getting your first house and yeah it sucks we're having to work another job but in two years you could drop that job you can stop paying rent out to where if you're paying and paying that mortgage and getting that money basically back to you 
and you can basically change your family's life because of that and I tell everybody do it as soon as you can don't be like me I, I didn't purchase my first house until I was 39 when I bought my first house 39 but I waited almost too long do it as early as you can buying that first house changes everything and I'll tell you something that blows my mind I find this more often than not more women buy that first house when they're younger compared to men I don't know why it is but if you're a man out there and you're in your 30s and you don't have your own house get your own house get your own house get out of that apartment stop living with your six friends that you're an adult get your own place it's going to help you on the long run the stuff i'm telling you right now today do your best don't take the two years out just commit two years you're going to do it like working out you're going to commit those two years and working hard and by the time this is all over you're going to have a house and when i use the word house i don't just mean this house house i mean condo i mean duplex i mean anything you can get yourself into to basically turn you into a homeowner that is what we're doing so there you go focus on that it'll help you out in the real long run all right thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will talk to you all later